Capricorn, what is going on? Thanks so much for tuning in. Welcome to the channel. I'm Deborah. This is Prush Intuitive. <laughs> Sorry. Jumping, jumping around. The cards are. It's been kind of a crazy week. We are coming up on a full moon here on February 5th. So it is making the energy a little bit intense. Perhaps you've been feeling it, sending lots of love and blessings your way always. So these readings, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, obviously Cross Watchers, welcome. House of Cards popped out or hand of, I always think this is a house of cards. Like that's what this card is going to forever be in my mind. But house of, or hand, <laughs> it's about having options and not necessarily revealing them, kind of taking a step back, communicating, figuring out what's working, what is not, where you need to plug in your time and energy. You've been pretty introspective lately, Capricorn. Uh, okay, there's that hand of cards again. Okay, so I think it's really kind of tapping into what you're feeling passionate about, what you're feeling abundant around. And wanting to really sink into those things, ground into those things that make you happy, that bring you a lot of peace, satisfaction, fulfillment. That's kind of been an overall theme lately as well. Dude, these are like jumping, jumping. All right, I'm gonna get going <laughs> with that. So they're just jumping all over the place. All right, Capricorn. Highest and best overarching energy. All right, yeah, so there again is that conversation vibe. It's like meeting up with someone, maybe having a conversation, kind of getting some things off your chest, I feel. Um, connecting, this is, you know, just more that vibe of when we're, you know, looking for support, we're kind of, looking to connect with people, maybe talk about some of the ideas that you have floating around, reflecting, bouncing it off of people that you care about, that you trust, that you want to let into your environment, into your world. Um, I feel like this is like also maybe someone that you're reaching out to or you want to connect with. Maybe you're getting advice around this. But like I said, it also feels like you're contemplating the past a lot. There's been a lot of reflective energy for you over the past couple weeks. So, I mean, we are still kind of in the new year, depending on when you're watching this. Okay, love energy. It also could be like reconnecting with someone. I mean, I, I guess I already said that, you know, but I, I heard this as like an intimate partner, right? Reconnecting, maybe... Um, starting fresh, starting over, wiping the slate clean from a long-term relationship and trying to find a little bit more grounding and balance. That's also the card of self-love and self-care. Yeah, I love that because you are healing. There is, and actually that's been like a pretty consistent theme as well throughout our readings. Um, this energy of, you know, healing, like some of the stuff has been popping up from the past. We've had some people trying to come back in relationships, trying to be mended. I hear this though, um, Capricorn is you're kind of the one doing that mending, but I also feel like you're seeking advice around this. Yeah. First new beginnings. So I feel like this is also you approaching this situation with a lot more love and gentleness and care, being more intentional, like I said, um, this time around, yeah. King of coins, knight of coins. So you could be dealing with another earth sign that's uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, you could also just be dealing with someone who's just taking a little bit of time <laughs> to grow and mature. The Knight of Pentacles is always the slowest moving in the deck. I have, sorry, this piece of hair that's like right in, <laughs> it's tickling me and then it's making an itch. <laughs> All right, guys, let's look. Okay, so Nine of Wands energy. So 
having a period of time where you do feel like a little bit on the defensive, you're self-protected of your energy. Being really mindful about who you share that space with. Um, and I think that this is kind of a hard space for you to be in, Capricorn, because you're very much used to being on top of your game. In my opinion, out of the Zodiac, you're one of the stronger signs. You know, you rule the devil in the tarot deck and not because you are, <laughs> you know, uh, but more because you're the, you're the sign that can handle that. You know, you're also ruled by Saturn energy, which is the celestial taskmaster. It is what teaches us our lessons, like not the fun ones, <laughs> you know, the hard ones, the karmic ones, but that's because your sign knows how to deal with that. And I feel like being in this nine of wands energy for you is not very comfortable. You're strong, but it's also making you dig deep. You might be having to look at areas where, you know, you had the best intentions, but it didn't really pan out how you anticipated. Uh, yeah, there's all that stress. I'm sorry, guys. It's not fun. Just a lot on your shoulders, a lot on your plate. And that makes a lot of sense where you've kind of had to take time apart from others, from the day-to-day -day world. We have the second nine on the board, nine of coins. The nine, you know, the nine of coins, nine of pentacles is a really great energy because it is when we have come to this place of like, you know, um, <laughs> I just lost the word, sorry. But we kind of come to this point of like satisfaction for what we've done, the work that we've put in. And we're reflecting and rest, you know, on what we've built and kind of what's coming in for us. But coupled with the 10 of wands, I feel like you're not really having a lot of time to appreciate, you know, all that you've done, all that you've overcome in order to get here, because you're still kind of looking at it as this Knight of Cups energy. You're looking at it more through the lens of where you failed versus where maybe you just like had a lot on your plate. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's hard. It's hard to juggle a lot of different things. Um, you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, because there is a lot of water energy as well. Not good, bad, but you know, that really speaks to our feeling, our intuition, our emotion. The moon is definitely our emotions getting the best of us. You know, it's like when we're feeling things really deeply and sometimes that's perpetuated by fear um, you know, the what ifs that we can't really control, worst case scenario. And a lot of times, you know, and I'm sure you know, it's BS, right? It's just like stories we tell ourselves to keep ourselves in that space of fear. Because really, we can only control, you know, ourselves, <laughs> basically, or like what we have control over, right? Um, and even when we make a mistake, even when we mess up, we can only control so much. And there's your mistake right there. So something really not working out how you had anticipated and how you had planned. Um, I think that this is bringing in a lot of change. I see movement around you, Capricorn, but not necessarily... Um, you know, uh, not, not, um, between you and like your outside environment, you still feel like you're taking that time for yourself. You're really spending time to just kind of stay as grounded, as balanced as possible, especially because you are really stressed out and there are a lot of emotions around that. Uh, dealing with a situation that does bum you out, that makes you feel like, you know, that made you feel, I feel like, not good enough, you know, because it didn't really work how, how you had anticipated. This is creating like a self-protected energy. Someone self-protecting, yeah, Aries, the Emperor. It could be masculine, it could be a partner. 
But like I said, the emperor also rules Aries. It could be someone just vibing in that very strong Aries energy where, um, you know, I feel like they're more focused on the disappointment, what hasn't worked out. You're trying to keep everything up and running. So you're not, again, you're not really dumping a lot of time, energy into this thing. Yeah, you're kind of waiting on it. I don't know though. This has actually come up in a few different readings this week about like waiting to talk it out, waiting to see how things unfold before you really kind of take that initiative, which not good, bad, right or wrong. You know, I feel like it is kind of coming out of some self-protection a little bit with that nine of coins because nine of coins really is an autonomous energy meaning that like you know we're not really spending time with friends and other people that we don't really have to right we're kind of just more focused on our internal world and like you've definitely come on <laughs> you've been in a space where you had to you know which i'm so sorry guys it's not fun to be in that place but it does feel like it's coming from a space of wisdom for you. I also hear this as whomever this is that you're dealing with, they don't see it that way. Because like I said, they know things are changing. I mean, I think there is, let's look at this a little bit more. Why are they still focused on the past? Yeah. Because it's like their pride, their ego. You know, <laughs> not like have, yeah, and not really like, like not really wanting to put energy or time into something that's not really going to yield any fruit. There's a little bit of laziness and apathy. Well, if it happened before, it's going to happen again. And they are someone, I mean, this is double fire, obviously, right here. It's very masculine energy with the king of wands, emperor energy. That's all fire, you know? And that's someone who, like, does have their stuff together, you know? They're very on point with how they handle and almost to the point of rigidity, um, but you're not really ready to make any movement yet. You're not ready to talk about it yet. Uh, you know, I think that eh, it's actually not a bad thing because I think more is being revealed to you as time moves forward. It's actually helping you, um, understand the situation a little bit better where there wasn't that reciprocity, that energy of give and take. Um, you know, and I think it's, like I said, it's giving you more ideas, more options, how to move forward. Because as you do, you're going to be doing it from a space of love. This had to happen because I feel like part of it is about you allowing yourself to grow and heal and evolve. It hasn't been easy, you know. You could have done a little bit of self-sabotage. No shade, Capricorn. It's said with love. Um, we all do it, right? Like, And I feel, like, again, that's kind of where this emotional energy is coming into play. It's hard. It's hard to like look at places that we feel like we messed up. But I don't see this as like a fail, you know? I actually see this as... It needed to happen. It needed to kind of be brought to the surface because it was being avoided. It wasn't being dealt with beforehand. Yeah, but you know, I think this is gonna take some time. It's really like, there's a, like I said, you know, pe yeah, people are getting too caught into their emotions. Whomever you're dealing with, so this person is like making an agreement to themselves that, hey, they're going to put the toxic stuff behind them. You know, maybe they're trying to work it out with you in a more healthy way. Like, I'm not going down that road, blah, blah, blah. But then they're down the way. They refuse to look at the places that, you know, well, that they're participating in that unhealthiness. This could also be you, Capricorn. Sorry, not to uh, throw shade at you by any means. <laughs> but 
but just you'll know obviously where you fit into this energy but it looks like things don't really get sorted out the intentions there but it doesn't really actually happen maybe it feels like it yeah stinging nettle okay so that's often about and mushroom so stinging nettle it's a very very excuse me medicinal plant but you know like it's not ooh, <laughs> sorry about that it's not as easy to cultivate right because you have to move through some of the pain in order to get that medicine and that's a lot of what this is about we all you know make choices we have to learn from certain things this is places where you need to get out of your own comfort zone and actually yeah it makes a lot of sense like actually you know not rely so much on your strength this is like pushing you out like i said it pushing you outside of your comfort zone And dealing, you know, I feel like especially with what you're dealing with, it's like long-term stuff. It's future stuff. It's And this other person or situation is dealing with their own karma. Like this is obviously ancestral lineage, things that get passed down from generation to generation. That, that person, that situation is really working to heal that. And so I feel like you kind of have to look for the long-term benefits because I do feel like, you know, you're being pushed outside of your comfort zone. You're not really doing a, a whole lot of, um, you know, stepping out quite yet. I think you're going to be testing the waters a little bit is what I'm seeing, maybe connecting, trying to soften the vibe a little bit with this emperor king of wands energy which will help because <laughs> that's like a pretty intense energy i feel like things are going to evolve long term but it also be really mindful of this energy the places that we're holding on to anger to emotions to control not really learning our lessons kind of avoiding like make sure it's not putting a band-aid on with the the nostalgias, you know, the things that kind of, oh, you know, like make us reminisce, connect with someone, but we don't really address the issue. So I hope that helps Capricorn. I'm sending lots of love and blessing to whatever you're navigating through. Definitely hit me up if you want me to look at your personal situation. I would be honored to support in whatever way possible. If you resonated, thumbs up, leave comments below. I love to connect with the community. All right, guys, lots of love and blessings. Have a great evening.